Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. I think this is Vlogmas Day 3. We are gonna say day three. I think it's day three. Okay, I am in my bedroom. Bedroom's all done. All done. We do have to put some books back up in the bookshelf. So we will get some of that done today. Um, I do, my one job today is to get the bookshelf filled again and to get this bucket taken care of. Now, uh, this bucket has been sitting here like this since I um, got rid of the desk, which has been well over a couple months ago. It must go, right? And it's taken up room in, in my, it's taken up space in my room, which I don't have space for. Oh, Jack, yeah. we're gonna need to also get the backdrop put up, babe. My backdrop has to go back up here. And then I've got my, um, these, uh, the map of the world is going above where the TV is called the midwife. That's what we're watching. Um, that right there was given to me by a friend of mine. And it just is a pictorial of, you know, where all of my ladies are from. The ladies that come to my groups, where they're from and where, the, you know, it represents their country and what God is doing in the world just through my small little Saturday morning Bible study or my Monday night Bible study or my Sunday night coffee and conversation ladies and it's just a blessing I was going to put that over the bed however um I don't want to put anything over the bed uh that's not the purpose of that particular right but I do want to be able to look across and and pray for those ladies I um, thought about doing a Mr. and Mrs. calling those things that be not as though they were and I'm still thinking about that but for right now, I do like the lights there. It works out pretty good. So I'm going to keep that there and all will be well. Um, But yeah, I'm going to work on getting this stuff done. I'm going to put the backdrop up. I've got to put my... um. I don't know if I'm going to put my Texas Star back up. I think I might put that over the shelf up here and not put another hole in the wall. Because now that all, we patched up all the holes, I really have an issue putting holes in the walls. I always have. But I do have my two um, certificates, which I think I'm going to put over that on that wall. One from Bible College and one from being ordained. They will go back up. And I think that's all that we're going to do for tonight. So, anywho, we're going to jump into some organizing. We got to get rid of some stuff. Um, the room feels really good. There's not a, there's not as much stuff in here. I did bring in one piece. That's this one little piece right here. Now, I've had plastic bins before, but they've been see-through. So, you could see what was in them. And I don't want to see anything. So, um, I got this gray one to go with the scheme of the room. And I think it's going to be just fine. Anywho, we're going to jump in, get some of this stuff given out to Goodwill. And um, put in this little bin what I can put in. And that's going to be the end of that. Huh? Probably let's get the backdrop up because I'm going to have to film some videos here. Mm -hmm.
but mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. All right, y'all, so we have the uh, pictures up. Um, I still didn't put my Texas Star back up there. I was thinking about just sending it to the Goodwill. One of the things I realized before we put stuff back up, the wall is back up, the backdrop. My uh, two certificates are up. The lights are blinking. Is that I just don't want to have a lot of stuff, right? I did put my mirror back. And then over here because you could see the yellow of that chair. I actually found another, it's not wide enough either. It's probably a twin. I need a bigger one than that. But for right now, it's covering it. And then I put that gray blanket kind of over it with the red pillows. And that's kind of what it looks like. Of course, this is with the lights off and it is uh, dark. And here's with the light on in that space. Love the shears. Don't need a lot of heavy curtainage. Cleaned out some stuff over here, threw away a lot, put one piece to the Goodwill. We put our printer under there for right now, in case I need to print for the kids. Somebody has found their spot and living their best life. But anyway, there it is. That is the bedroom and all the things. And we're just living, you know, we're living life. So I wanted to make sure that I put the extra um, piece back on because it just, when I'm filming, like sometimes it would cut it off and you would see some of the wall. So we just put the extra side piece back on. So it gives me a larger working area behind me. And I really like that. I'm not sure about this lamp though. That may have to go. Uh, which way am I going? This way. And I'm the worst at this, this lamp. Um, I'm not sure if I want it there or if it's in, in beneficial at all. Because when I'm filming, I'm going to have my ring lights up. So um, that's going to be there. I had to figure that part out. For now, it's okay. I'm going to let it work on me for a while um, as I live in this space for a little bit. But I will say this. I love the gray way more than I love the oatmeal. And it's been oatmeal for six years. This color is called Mesmerize. And the black wall is called Great Black. G-R-A-T-E Black. What's that is? Dead skin. It's called uh, Mesmerize. And the um, color is called Great Black. Now, the only thing I would redo is that Great Black, I got that in an eggshell color. I would not get it in an eggshell. I would definitely get it in a semi-gloss or a satin color because I'd much rather like the black not to look as flat as it looks. And um, But the gray in the eggshell looks fine. I'm perfectly fine with the gray in the eggshell. So I think what I'm gonna do is repeat this same color in the bathroom. If not this color, then one color up, like one color lighter, just to give the bathroom a little bit of contrast. And I think the kids and I are gonna tackle that before January when I'm home on my break. And then we'll give that room, that my bathroom a once over and just kind of do a few other things in there. We will wipe down more than we did I've got dry lips, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, we will wipe down all the cobwebs, all the baseboards. We'll give those a very thorough cleaning before we jump into the painting. We didn't do as good a cleaning on those places in here. So we were kind of trying to get cobwebs down while we were trying to paint around. And I just because I was in a rush to get it done. Now that we've done it, there are no high ceilings in the bathroom, so we should not have to borrow a ladder. The step stool that we have works. I still do need to buy a ladder. I saw one at Walmart that kind of collapses down to very small, and then you can extend it back. So I'm thinking about, you know, just investing in that because I think it would be very good. Uh, we'll see, right? This was an experiment for me, again, just stepping outside of my comfort zone, outside of my box, and it worked out very well. So I'm glad that I was able to do it and we got it done. 
So there it is. Thank you guys for joining us for Vlogmas day number four. I got it right now, day number four. We're so thankful that you stopped by. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.